Well, what do you think, ponies? Are you getting it chewed down out here pretty good? One of these days you'll have to go back off the pasture. One of these days coming up you'll have to go off the pasture. So let's see who we got here. Now I gotta figure out. Winx is closer to Cutie. Cutie's on the right side there. So her daughter is Winx. She's almost as big as mom already. And then I think this next one is Maggie Mae. If I'm looking at it right. Maggie Mae, you're always pointing the other direction. I can't see your ears. Because when it comes down to it, I always look at their ears to try to figure out who's who. <clears throat> so this is Reese. Whoops. This is Reese's Pieces because she's got a white ear. And that's the boy because he's the littlest, darkest one. So we got Reese's Pieces and the boy. And Maggie Mae is hiding from me again. She never gives me her best side here. She's the most frustrating pony. You just don't like to give me your good side. She's one of those ponies that just does not want to have her picture taken. <laughs> don't take my picture, she says. What do you think, Tabitha? You're looking preggy already. Old Tabitha. Most of them are starting to look pregnant if they're going to have May babies. Or April, even. Late April into May. Well, that means she must have got bred by Sparky. Sparky was in with the herd during the early, early May, because they came out to pasture in May. And I threw Sparky out with them. And, uh, so I'm thinking he probably bred... I know he didn't get Truffles bred. I think that's why Truffles was pissed at him when I put him back in here a few weeks ago. She was really mad at him. She wouldn't have anything to do with him this fall. But, uh, and she seemed to have a heat cycle, so I think she's definitely open. But, uh, probably the four pony mares in here or more likely bred to Sparky. Lady could possibly be bred to Dodger. But timing wise, I gave Sparky a chance. Dodger was still young. So we'll see what little treasures come drop onto the ground next spring. I think Tabitha, you got a treasure? Have you got a treasure, Tabitha? You think? You got a girl? You gonna have a filly? That would be exciting if you have a filly. Winks is back wondering what's going on. Winks is wondering what's going on. Talking to me over the fence. <laughs> Four musketeers here. It's 
So we've got Reese's Pieces on the left. And then Maggie May. I used to call her Esmeralda, but it's Maggie May now. She's got a partial ear white on the right side. Seven eighths gypsy. And then we got a purebred colt from Mr. Wonderful. And we got a really good three quarter filly. That is Winks. So I feel like I got a wonderful blessed crop here from MHB Risky Business. He did pretty good for me. And let's see, can I get a close-up of a lady or not? Lady's actually for sale. If somebody wants to grab a 12-hand tall purebred mini gypsy mare. Really good bye. I'm just trying to cut back as much as I can. She could be a dream pony for somebody. Takes 10,000 though. That's the bottom dollar. So meanwhile I've got three quarter Tabitha. 50% cutie that throws amazing babies. Old purebred truffles back there, the mighty leader. And cutie's daughter is Emmy up there with the black tail. Love my Emmy girl. So I'm going to get it down to little, little tiny ones here real quick like. So lady is available for somebody for dream... Purebred from imports, many gypsy horses. Lady's mom was imported from Hermit's Cobbs over there in the UK. And her dad was bred from up in New York, uh, I think it was at West Hill Ranchers, had a son of Lloyd's. So her dad is a son of a son of Lloyd's. <laughs> Anyway, her pedigree is real good. Lots of top horses. There goes old Truffles. I thought I would catch her walking, but she got her head down again. Anyway. Beautiful ponies. We've got another month, and then winter will be here. Well, Mr. Wonderful, he's looking pretty good. Whoops, what'd you do? What happened? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 